France is an enormous river, branched into numerous streams and substreams, which are constantly laboring on sketching our future. In the recent times, one such stream has taken the world by storm. It has exposed the world to a bunch of answers on fatal medical disorders and is just getting better each day. It's bioelectronics. Introducing Professor Shudeep Nag, a bioelectronics expert from IIT Kharagpur. So, what is bioelectronics? So bioelectronics uh, is a new and emerging field in the field of uh, in engineering where we are trying to utilize state-of-the-art electronic uh, as well as uh, state-of-the-art medical sciences technology and we are fusing them together to bring out uh, novel solutions in healthcare which are otherwise not possible by using standard medicine or by using surgery. How is bioelectronics different from its peer streams like biotechnology, electronics and so on? In uh, standard engineering, we look at systems which are reliable, at the same time they are more powerful than the previous generations. That power may be in terms of electrical power or in its facilities. So in uh, standard engineering, we talk about uh, electronic systems, for example, uh, in watts or milliwatt system. For example, if you take an example of a mobile phone, it consumes in the range of a uh, few watts. So we have to bring down effective electrical power consumption to micro to nanowatts level instead of uh, several hundred milliwatts to several watts level. Okay, one watt of power is too much if you are a bioelectronics ninja. Now the battery itself is a bottleneck and we wanted to ideally remove the battery from any implantable system. That's a big problem which brings repeated surgery and regular intervention. So this is a big difference so with standard engineering with uh, the modern or upcoming bioelectronics. Guess what? Bioelectronics is playing its part already. Certain commercial companies in the West have already developed uh, implantable solutions for treatment of blind or treating certain diseases in the deep brain. Uh, it can help uh, to restore vision with the help of an external camera which communicates to the chip inside the body or the similar products also exist for um, deep brain stimulation for the treatment of Parkinson's diseases. So those devices are already proving the fact that bioelectronics is real, it's not a science fiction. Solutions of several disorders are still awaiting a genuine remedy such as stroke-induced paralysis and call-in blindness. So in stroke-induced paralysis, uh, due to certain blood clot in the brain, uh, certain other portions of the body gets paralyzed permanently. And that's uh, irreversible or cannot be treated well with uh, any available medical techniques. Similarly, uh, there could be different types of blindness where uh, people are losing vision whereas most of the optical system or the pathway remains intact. So bioelectronics essentially try, uh, is trying to bring out solutions uh, which are minimally invasive. So minimally invasive means that least possible surgical interventions. For example, if you take a pacemaker for cardiac uh, patients, so those uh, devices need to be replaced every few years, maybe 5 to 10 years, because the battery dries down. So in bioelectronics, we are trying to uh, develop certain wireless power transfer scheme where the implanted electronics can receive power from an external device which is kept outside the skin and that too without any physical contact or without any uh, wired connection in between. Such uh, so devices can be very effectively utilized for uh, treatment of paralysis or treatment of uh, basically of any missing body functions or in new several processes and rehabilitation applications. In the Bionic Eye project, we are looking at uh, mitigating the problem of corneal blindness by implanting a chip inside the lens of a human eye. So in corneal blindness, the cornea turns opaque or translucent such that light, natural light cannot enter the retina. So what if we put an external camera with a spectacle and then transfer both energy as well as data from the camera to an implanted chip which is replacing the natural lens and that lens will act as a micro projector and it will uh, send visual information to the retina and the brain will perceive as if it is a natural signal coming to the eye. The area of bioelectronics is having multiple benefits. First, our initiative is a first of its kind in India and secondly, we are making uh, the students trained to cope up with the future need in this area where they can 
establish new companies, new solutions to contribute significantly to the society, especially the Indian society, where the cost of healthcare is mostly unaffordable to a majority.